Well, hi everyone, Steve Patterson here from PhotoshopEssentials.com. In this video, I'll show you how to add falling snow to your winter photos with Photoshop. I'll be using Photoshop CC, but everything is fully compatible with Photoshop CS6. Let's get started. Here's the image I'll be using. I downloaded this one from Shutterstock. If we look in the Layers panel, we see the image on the background layer. Well, let's start by adding a new blank layer above it. Click on the New Layer icon at the bottom of the Layers panel. A new layer named Layer 1 appears above the background layer. Double-click on the name Layer 1 and rename it Snow. Press Enter on a Windows PC or Return on a Mac to accept it. We need to fill the new layer with black. Go up to the Edit menu in the menu bar along the top of the screen and choose Fill. In the Fill dialog box, set the Contents option to Black, and then click OK. Photoshop fills the layer with black. To create the falling snow, we'll use Photoshop's Add Noise filter. Go up to the Filter menu, choose Noise, and then choose Add Noise. This opens the Add Noise dialog box. Set the amount to 25%. Choose Gaussian and Monochromatic, and then click OK. Photoshop fills the layer with noise. The noise is too dark at the moment, but we'll brighten it up later. Along with being too dark, the dots are also too small. We'll make them bigger using Photoshop's Scale command. Go up to the Edit menu, choose Transform, and then choose Scale. In the Options bar, Click the link icon between the width and height boxes. Then change the width to 400%. This sets the height to 400% as well. Click the check mark in the options bar to accept it. The dots are now much bigger and starting to look more like snow. To blend the noise in with the image, go back to the layers panel and change the blend mode of the snow layer from normal to Screen. This hides the areas of black, leaving only the white noise visible. To make the snow look more like it's falling, we'll use the Motion Blur filter. Go up to the Filter menu, choose Blur, and then choose Motion Blur. In the Motion Blur dialog box, set the angle to the direction you want the snow to be falling from. I'll set mine to negative 65 degrees, so it's falling from the upper left. The Distance option controls how much motion is applied. Setting it too high will make the snow look more like rain. So use a low value of between 8 and 12 pixels, depending on the size of your image. I'll go with 12. Click OK to close the dialog box. And now the snow looks more like it's actually falling. Next, we'll reduce the amount of snow and brighten it at the same time using a Levels Adjustment Layer. Go back to your Layers panel and click the New Fill or Adjustment Layer icon. Choose Levels from the list. A Levels Adjustment Layer appears above the Snow Layer. We want the Adjustment Layer to affect only the Snow Layer, not the original image. So click on the Menu icon in the upper right of the Layers panel. Choose Create Clipping Mask from the menu. This clips the Adjustment Layer to the Snow Layer. And now anything we do with the adjustment layer will affect only the snow layer below it. The controls for the level's adjustment layer are found in the Properties panel. To reduce the amount of snow, click on the black slider below the histogram and begin dragging it towards the right. Keep an eye on your image as you drag and you'll see the dark areas of snow becoming even darker and eventually disappearing completely. To brighten up the remaining snow, click on the white slider and drag it towards the left. The further you drag, the brighter the snow becomes. Let's add some depth to the effect by creating a second layer of snow, this time with bigger snowflakes. Back in the Layers panel, make sure the Levels Adjustment layer is selected. Then press and hold the Shift key on your keyboard and click on the snow layer. This selects both layers at once. 
click and drag both layers down onto the new layer icon. Release your mouse button and Photoshop adds a copy of both layers above the originals. Click on the Snow Copy layer to select it. Then go up to the Edit menu, choose Transform, and then choose Rotate 180 degrees. This doubles the amount of snow we had before. To make the snow bigger, go up to the Filter menu, choose Pixelate, and then choose Crystallize. The Crystallize filter breaks an image into little sections, or cells, and we control the size of the cells with the Cell Size option at the bottom. Choose a value between 10 and 20 depending on the size of your image. I'll go with 20. Click OK to close the dialog box. And now the flakes on the Snow Copy layer appear much larger than the originals. To add motion to the larger flakes, go up to the Filter menu, choose Blur, and once again choose Motion Blur. In the Motion Blur dialog box, leave the angle set to the same value as before, but this time choose a larger distance value, somewhere between 16 and 20 pixels. Then click OK. Finally, to fine-tune the appearance of the larger snowflakes, go back to the Layers panel and click on the Levels 1 Copy Adjustment layer to select it. In the Properties panel, drag the black and white sliders below the histogram to make any adjustments you need. Use the black slider to adjust the amount of snow and the white slider to control the brightness. This time, we're affecting only the larger snowflakes on the snow copy layer, not the originals. And there we have it. That's how to add falling snow to your winter photos with Photoshop. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please consider liking it, sharing it, and subscribing to our channel. Leave a comment below, and be sure to check out our website, photoshopessentials.com, for more Photoshop tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm Steve Patterson from photoshopessentials.com.